Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Falca and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Libra. I also just finished recently both your spirit guide tarot messages as well as your uh, ancestor tarot messages, Libra. So if you are interested in either of those, I'll leave, link, I'll leave links to both of them over there for you to check out at a later point if you'd like, Libra. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Libra, be sure to rely on your intuition. Just put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Libra. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, Libra, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, Libra, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, I would love for you to let me know which tarot cards do resonate with you because uh, that's just how I keep up with y'all, right? You know, I, <laughs> I love just hearing about y'all's lives and just how the cards coordinate for each in, in y'all's individual lives, Libra. So if you uh, if you would like to, I would love to hear about it. Uh, also, Libra, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, I would love for you to, I would appreciate it rather, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, Libra. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. So, Libra, don't mind me. I'm finishing up <laughs> shuffling for you. I'm having some problems, apparently. Uh, finally, Libra, before we get into this tarot reading, I just want to say that I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings should all just be here to give you some perspective. You shouldn't be making choices, uh, tarot cards, tarot readings shouldn't be making choices in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reader uh, that you receive a reading from, right? So, uh, with all that in mind, let's just start getting into your tarot reading for this week, my beautiful Libra. Let's pull one more card. Oh, okay, so the card that I pulled, I wasn't going to actually initially leave her, but I just felt drawn to at the very end. I pulled the King of Wands for you. Now, the King of Wands is an individual who is extremely motivated, who is keeps their eye on the prize. I mean, granted, this king is their eyes are closed, but um, it's it's an individual who is taking a leadership role, taking more control of their life even um and really allowing their ambitions their passions to inspire them and just to go forward right it's all in the name of moving forward for you libra um it is a card of success as well which is starting to be a theme in y'all's reading as well which you'll see in the tarot cards in a moment as i show them to you but um, I really like this reading. Just I like this spread, all these cards, right? And it just all these cards really complement your King of Wands. So let's just talk about your other cards, right? Libra, so we have your full moon in Cancer, Libra, uh, the Oracle Moon Oracle card. And this is a card that says a personal issue reaches a resolution. Dare I say like this, whatever your issue is or the issue that reaches a resolution, Libra, it seems to be just like through like the issue being like... Um, you know, I'm getting a lot of like business, financial, and um, passion project success in this way. So I'll just speak in that narrative. But um, it's really more so about whatever it is this focal point is for you for this King of Wands. What is it that you're trying to uh, take more control of, Libra? What is it are you, that you are trying to uh, um, have more success in, right? That's what this would be about. So keep that in mind. But I'm going to just simplicity sake speak about um, just success in terms of career. So, continuing on with that Libra, we have the Knight of Fire. This is the Knight of Wands in Normal Tarot. And the Knight of Wands is, I mean, I'll read off this card. It says, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Uh, time is of the essence and think things through carefully, Libra. Now, when we see this card, it's a beautiful card because it's like the Knight of Wands is someone that, again, is driven by passion. So such an ambitious week for you, Libra. Um, but it's a card of very fast forward movement, right? And when you have that Knight of Wands in this deck, it's kind of foreshadowing, um, I don't want to say it's like a tower moment, um, because it's not Libra, but it's like in the same vein of a tower moment where it's like a sudden, like, action, just like big, big event occurring, um, in this deck anyways, that's what the Knight of Fire is representative of. So when you have this paired with the Full Moon in Cancer, paired with that King of Wands, honey, Miss Libra, Mr. or Miss Libra, I just say Miss to everybody, <laughs> um, regardless of gender. Um, it's a really positive uh, startup for this reading because it's almost like whatever that's starting, like the sudden movement 
Libra, it's what brings you to this uh, resolution. Dare I say, that's what gets you into this King of Wands experience, where you're experiencing some type of success, experiencing some type of like forward motion in something in your life, Libra. So it's like, I really enjoy this. Um, yeah, definitely like, it may not happen just exactly this week, right? Because always keep in mind with tarot, it's always just like a, we're tapping into energies, right? So, but you'll probably see signs of it. So, four cups did come forward for you, Libra. So, I do want to say that um, this is a card, I'll read it off as well. Missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom, open your eyes to the possibilities. So, mm, I feel like, let's actually pull a clarifier. Knight of Cups coming in for you. So definitely, Libra, this is a sense of where um, keep your eyes open, keep yourself open to uh, any type of avenue, right? So I am speaking, you know how I use the example, it's just like it's probably talking about this, and I still feel that way. But dare I say it's like a side message or like how it will come in is in a way that you wouldn't anticipate. Or maybe this is something completely unrelated to you or no. No, I feel like it's all kind of the same. I feel like something this week can really get the ball rolling for you to get to that Knight of Wands, you know, this forward motion, there's something, it's in essence Libra, there's something that you can do this week to um, either help it along or that to kind of anticipate this kind of situation, this Knight of Wands coming in in a, sense, in a way, in a format that you wouldn't normally anticipate. Um, so it's kind of like kind of very much so similar to like a moon energy Libra where it's just like kind of catches you off guard but it's all in the vein of it being positive and success so really good cards for that Libra. Now we also have the star card coming in with the knave of swords. Now this is definitely a situation of oh, I also want to show these other cards knight of disc as well with the sun card. So, as I was saying before, Libra, with this type of dynamic, this is definitely, because uh, I'm honing in on some type of um, communication, right? Um, and I feel this strongly. I feel I feel like I even felt it strongly before with you, Libra, in like your past general reading of where I felt like you some type of opportunity because with that Knight of Cups, it's usually um, a blessing coming in as services being offered from like a person usually. Um, dare I say that your guard is up um, when it comes in, right, there's some type of uh, person that you might have your guard up around that you might not fully want to um, trust, or maybe it's just like the, um, you know what, let's pull another card for this, Empress, mm -hmm. and the star card following you again. So Libra, there's definitely probably, I'm getting this sense of unsureness from you, dare I say that you might not, um, even like like you're receiving all these positive cards Libra but you're like sitting there and you're just like honey I'm not feeling that like you're talking about you're talking about all these like good things coming but like where is it coming? like who is it going to like is it overnight shipping or like do I need to pay extra for shipping honey um there's almost like this sense of where it's just like dare I say Libra some of you guys are losing faith um which kind of just bums me out because um, with the, you have the star card following you twice, and the star card is that wish fulfillment. But the theme here is it's almost just like with this Empress card coming in as well. Maybe you feel like you're being beaten down by life a bunch, and you're just um, after like dealing with a bunch of life experiences and continually, continually dealing with life experiences, Libra, that just weigh like, like just uh, exhaust you essentially. Um, it feels almost as like whatever it is that you were trying to work on with this King of Wands, um, it's starting to feel unobtainable to you, even though you still really, really want it. Um, the theme with these cards, while well, it's a wish fulfillment, and it is a good card, you may feel like it just is unobtainable to you. Like that star just is always going to remain out of reach for you. For some of you guys, Libra, you may have caught yourself where it's just like, dare I say, starting to be a little bit cynical and be like, you know what, maybe, it's, maybe success is just not for me. Maybe this person just isn't for me. Maybe this is just not part of my story what have you right and it definitely is libra so i i want to challenge you in that um let's let's take away this uh mindset here i don't like this knave of wands i don't like this being here because it's just like a sense of like sap inner sabotage as well because it's those inner thoughts right if you genuinely if you consistently tell yourself that you're not going to reach it right and it's easy to get in that kind of rut right especially if you're just tired of 
life itself, right? That sounds so dark and dramatic, but um, you know, you're just exhausted. It's just like it feels like every single day you wake up, we were maybe you feel like you are constantly dealing with a bunch of challenges, but it's here to give you some character development, right? I mean, that's what the Empress's representation of is like with connected to the universe and um, just waking up every day as a student and allowing the world to teach you new things each day, new perspective. So um, it just feels like you've been going through a very harsh lesson, not a harsh lesson, um, a lot of like difficult obstacles, Libra, and it's kind of taking a toll, a mental toll on you. So let's get out of that mindset a little bit. Let's see if we can remind ourselves back with the success like where it is that we're going because nine of disc in the sun card you probably have been having a little bit you've been consistently going forward all your cards have been consistently going forward libra so it is showing to me that you're not giving up entirely um it's all for i just heard like the phrase it was something something along the lines of it's like there's like it's all you have or something like that like you have no other choice um, but to continue moving forward and so right now you probably have just been in this pace of just moving slowly because the Knight of Discs and the Knight of Pentacles is that card of a little bit slower forward movement um, but you're still going forward but I do see you like speed um, traction picking up for you I do see you turning into the Knight of Fire eventually towards your son towards that success you know you get such you got all the very positive big uh, major arcana cards for like that wish fulfillment honey that you got the cards of just like overall having your cake and eating it too um so definitely don't feel like that star or that sun that don't feel like it you're always just like yeah don't feel like that star is unobtainable don't feel like you're always going to like it's a waste of time for you to continue moving forward don't lose hope even though you're going forward down your path and you may feel like the sun is just never you like you're never gaining ground on the sun you absolutely are a libra um just keep going keep pushing through i even though like um i'm not going to give you too hard of a time because you might have just you are moving forward still so it's better to move forward than to not move at all right but um you know let's uh let's uh just loop. i guess more so my goal is going to be in this reading is trying to uh give you hope right obviously i'm not going to sugarcoat the readings and the cards that i see but um I definitely, especially with these positive cards right off the bat, Libra, I definitely get the sense that we're gonna, you're gonna be happy with this reading. You know, and I don't want you stressing out too much. So now Libra, we're going to be getting into uh, actual career. Um, let's see what my career financial situation is looking like for my Libras this week. Let's see what's going on with my Libras this week for their financial career. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Interesting, Libra. You're getting the Four of Cups again. So there's definitely this week, it does seem to be like some type of opportunity is being presented to you. Uh, hmm. With this Four of Cups, the Fool card, and the King of Cups, Libra, 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 really keep your eyes peeled this week. Really don't, um, if opportunities present themselves, don't um, feel like, oh my god, there's like something in my eye, honey. <laughs> I guess I'll just do this blind. Uh, Libra, if you, during this week, as you carry out your week, don't, um, if something's offered to you, don't argue with it. Um, whatever is presented to you, don't argue with it and just go with the flow. If you have thoughts of being like, you know what, I want to post like a dancing video, right? And you're not going to get a dancing video from me, spoiler alert, Libra, but don't worry about that. But like, it's in that vein of where it's just like, you know, you want to post a dancing video, but then you're just like, mm, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe no one wants to see that, right? No one cares about that. No one's looking for that. No one's searching for that. Um, with this type of setup, um, with this Four of Cups coming in twice uh, for you, Libra, there is like this push alert. Now, I'm not going to promise like if you post like a dancing video, Libra, that like you're going to go viral. Let's just be logical, right? But there is like a reason why Spirit's really honing in on being like, don't miss something. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't... Um, you know just don't just be like the fool be like the king of cups like you know keep, this is like such a dynamic of where it's just like if you want to do something just do it don't allow your insecurities your um inner thoughts to sabotage you from doing that because very well that dancing video could be what pivots you into that success right you never know um so really like don't be your biggest uh blockage right don't be your biggest blockage libra so the clarifiers that we have three of wands eight of wands and the judgment card 
Yeah, confirming exactly what I was saying before, Libra. Now the judgment, I'm gonna speak about the cards themselves because I want you, Libra, to know that I'm not just like gassing you up. Um, the judgment card's about action. I see the Eight of Wands about uh, just grabbing up opportun at opportunities. Um, and as well as with this Three of Wands, this is like the Three of Wands is that um, you're starting to get a little bit of taste. And I think you even got this last week, Libra. And so it's still confirming to me it's building up. Um, you're starting to get a taste of some success. You're starting to get a taste of, um, you know, of things starting to work out. So continue taking action, continue grabbing up at opportunities. If something's offered to you, Libra, if a thought or idea comes to mind, just do it. Um, because I really feel like you just taking action, you just doing things this week, you just putting yourself out there is really going to be a rewarding process for you. So really consider that. So now, my beautiful Libra, let's get into your uh, social situations, Libra. Now, when I say social situations, Libra, I social situations could mean platonic, romantic, soulmate, twin flame, family, relationship, business, right? You know, it's just your social situation. So let's see what's going on there. What's going on for my Libras in their social situation? Huh. King of Wands is following you as well. King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Huh. Hmm, Libra, it's almost like you're wanting to um, take action on, like, well, you're wanting to take action, but you don't know the right um, decision decision to make. You know, this, the King of Wands is that action card, um, really following in that tone of ambition. So, um, yeah, but there's just like, you're wanting to take action in regards to someone with this Two of Pentacles, but you're not sure which what action to take. You're not sure how to feel about someone because with the Seven of Swords, it's kind of like that energy of where it's just like um, feeling overwhelmed, right? It's almost like Libra, you want to fix a situation or you want to connect with the person, um, but you're not quite sure how to go about doing it. You're not sure what is the right um, decision to uh, have this work out, right? So let's pull some clarifiers with this, see what's going on with this, what more information that we can get for my beautiful Libras. We want, we want this card as well. So we have the Eight of Discs, the Hierophant, and the Emperor card. Libra, this is you're getting all these cards about taking leadership role, right? A lot of cards about being proactive and taking the leadership role. With this Emperor card, it's all about action, right? Action, Eight of Discs, and the Hierophant. Now, hmm. How I would initially receive this reading or this setup, Libra, is, is almost like in the sense of you taking action, being like, you know what? Um, it's like you know how to handle uh, connections better now. And now that you know how to handle connections better, it shows to me, Libra, you're taking more forward action into securing those connections in your life. Securing those connections, I say securing them because of this Hierophant. So the Hierophant is a higher commitment. So it's almost like Libra, you are the one, um, you are the one Libra that is just like taking control of what you want, like taking or taking action on how you want a certain connection to go. And, you know, maybe if there is someone in your mind that you've kept in mind, you're reaching out to them and you're just finally making the decision being like, you know what, I want to be friends with that person. You know what, I want to do business with that person, right? And it's in this dynamic, it's like kind of like a, you're securing the bag, honey. So I really like that. And again, all about, you know, King of Wands, Emperor card, it's all about taking action. Truly, Libra, shoot your shot. Really, anything that is like... Honey, if you, like, it's, I'm not, obviously, I'm not saying Elon Musk is going to do it, but it's, like, it's in this type of reading, this energy, where it's just, like, if you want, like, if you want to ask Elon Musk, honey, for, like, a Tesla, like, shoot that email because you might be surprised by the results of it. Obviously, let's be a little bit more, um, I don't even want to say let's be more realistic. I mean, don't be messaging Elon Musk and then, like, coming at me a week later being, like, Valka, like, I didn't get my Tesla, but... <laughs> It's almost just like, you know, like you go for, you know, if you're going flying Libra, you know, you can go to make that joke at the reception. At the, it's not reception, it's at the airport. You know, take, someone's taking your ticket. You can make that joke and be like, oh, like, what's it going to take for me to get uh, upgraded to first class? You might get upgraded upgraded to first class, right? Just because you asked. Um, it's in that vein, Libra. And I feel like it's all kind of wrapped together. Like, I really feel like... It's, it's like essential for you to take shoot your shot because it's almost like you need to be noticed. You need to be seen by some pe person or persons 
because I really do feel like that person is that Knight of Cups that presents something to you, whether that's an opportunity or whether that's you in love, if the social situation is about love, right? It just seems to be all about you just shooting your shot, Libra. So let's get any final thoughts for you before we close out this reading. We have the Seven of Swords, the World card, as well as the Death card. Oh, transitions, Libra. Transitions, you're finally... Uh, it's like you're finally, hmm, how would I put it? It's like you're at the very, like, um, edge of, like, finishing up this lesson, finishing up this cycle, rather. I don't want to say lesson, finishing up a cycle. A lot of you Libras, you probably have felt like you've been fighting for a long time now, right? And that's what the energy we talked about at the very beginning, where it's just, like, you're feeling tired and just kind of, like, um, running on fumes and just losing hope, right? Um, it seems to be, like, that's the end, like, you're soon completing this cycle and things are definitely going to be looking up so much more for you very soon, Libra. You know, those personal issues are going to be reaching a resolution. I promise you, Libra, things are going to be, you're, you're, things, you're, honey, come back to me in like a month. Come back to me in a month and let me know how things have turned out for you because you're going to be pleasantly surprised. It seems to be Spirit has something so beautifully planned for you. It's like Spirit has like a surprise party planned for you, like a surprised blessing that you really is going to blow you away. So um, yeah, Libra, that is the tarot cards that I have for you for this uh, week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure, Libra, to give me a like and subscribe. Be sure to um, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how they did. And then also, Libra, be sure to share this video and or any of my videos, really, um, <laughs> with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, my beautiful Libra, I love you so much. Bye.